Energy conversion is the challenge of today. Imagine what happens if we have to stop to use electrical energy. What would you do? Energy is important, so we have to think about new ways to store it. My name is Marco Bonecchi, I am a chemist at the University of Florence and I work inside the electrochemistry lab. Nowadays we can produce energy using renewable sources and store it using batteries, but batteries are useful only to store small amount of energy, so we have to think about new way like fuel cell. But currently fuel cells are very expensive because they use precious metals and have a low efficiency. So we have to think about new materials uh, to put inside fuel cells. In this context, the aim of my work is develop new materials that are less expensive. We can uh, use solar energy to produce electricity through a solar panel and then we can store the energy splitting water in oxygen and hydrogen. Then we can recombine oxygen and hydrogen inside a fuel cell to obtain electricity and no waste but only water. Fuel cells are a technology invented about 150 years ago, but currently they are not so used because we have two problems. The first uh, is that they are very expensive and the second is that uh, they have a low efficiency. It means that when we convert energy, chemical energy, in electrical energy, we lose the most part of it. The reaction of oxygen and hydrogen is not simple. The surface of precious metals is able to capture oxygen and hydrogen and broke down the molecules. So we say that the precious metals in chemistry are catalysts. The aim of my project is the develop of new materials to use in uh, fuel cells. We are focusing on carbon nanotubes uh, that are less expensive and have a very huge area so they can uh, keep oxygen. The novelty of my research is that we create an anchored site on the surface of carbon nanotubes. So we design the just space to put only one atom of palladium in the surface. In this way we can reduce the cost but keep the efficiency high. I hope that with my research I can uh, improve in the long term the well-being of society.